Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Q at HP Discover 2014. Brought to you by HP. Hey, welcome back everyone, live here in Las Vegas for HP Discover 2014, this is theCUBE, we're out. We go where the action is, we're on the ground here at HP Discover, getting all the signals, sharing that with you, extracting the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined next to Steve Woolidge, VP of Product Marketing at MapArt Technologies. Great to see you, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. Glad I know you got here. a plane to catch, uh, but I really wanted to squeeze you in because you guys are a leader in uh, the big data space. You guys are in the top three, the three uh, big whales, MapArt, Hortonworks, Cloudera, um, you know, Part of the original big data industry, which you know, when we did the cube when we first started, the industry had like 30, 34 employees total combined with three, one company, Cloudera, right. and then MapR announced, and then Hortonworks. You guys have been part of that holy trinity of, of early pioneers. Give us the update. You guys are doing very, very well. Uh, we talked to you guys at the Hadoop Summit last week. Yeah. So Jack Norris with the party. Give us the update. What's going on with the momentum and the traction? And then I want to talk about some of the things with the product. Sure, yeah. So we've seen a tremendous uptick in sales at MapR. We tripled revenue. Uh, we announced that publicly about a month ago. So we went up 300% uh, in sales over Q3, I'm sorry, Q1 of 2013. And I think it's really, you know, the maturity of the market as people move more towards production, they appreciate the enterprise features we built into the MapR distribution for Hadoop. So, um, you know, the stats I would share is that 80% of our customers triple the size of their cluster within the first 12 months, and 50% of them double the size of their cluster, because as the, you know, they have that first production success use case, and they find other applications and start rolling out more and more, so it's been great for us. You know, I always joke with Jack Norris, who's a VP of marketing over there, and John Schroeder, who's the CEO, uh, about MapR's humbleness. You don't have the fanfare of all the hype, the press love Cloudera, and obviously they've done some pretty amazing things. They've had a liquidity event, so essentially kind of an IPO, if you will, that huge uh, financing from Intel. Um, they're doing great, big sales force. Hortonworks has got their open source play. You guys got, you got your heads down as well, so talk about that. How many employees do you guys have, and what's going on with the product? How many, how many, new, what, how, how many products do you guys actually have? Well, we have one product. We have the MapR distribution for Hadoop, um, and it's got you know, all the open source packages directly within it, but where we really innovate is in the core, so that's where we, we spent our time early on, was really innovating that data platform to give everything within the Hadoop ecosystem more reliability, better availability, uh, performance, security, scale, all so those types of things. So it's open source contribution to the core, and you guys put stuff on top of that? Uh, is that how it works? Yeah, I mean, in core? some projects we lead the projects, like with Apache Mahout and Apache Drill, which is coming into beta shortly. Other projects we commit and contribute back, but um, so we take in the distribution, we're distributing all those projects, but where we really innovate is at that data platform level, so. HP is a big data leader, obviously they bought um, Autonomy, they have HP Vertica, you guys are here, hey, what are you doing here? Obviously we, we covered the, in theCUBE uh, the announcement with, uh, with, the, with HP Vertica. That's right. Are you here for yeah. that reason? Is there other biz dev, other activity going on? Other integration opportunities? Yeah, a few things. So um, obviously the HP Vertica news was big. We went into general availability of that solution the first week of May. So um, what we have is the HP Vertica database integrated directly on top of our data platform. So it, it's this hybrid solution where you have full SQL database directly within your Hadoop distribution. Um, so it had a couple sessions on that. We had a, a nice panel discussion with our friends from Cloudera and Hortonworks, so a really good discussion with HP about just the ecosystem and how Hadoop's evolving. Um, the other things we're doing with HP now is, you know, we've got reference architectures on their hardware lines, so, um, you know, people can deploy MapR on the hardware of HP, but then also we're talking with the, um, the autonomy group about enterprise search and looking at a similar type of integration where you could have the search integrated directly into your Hadoop Distro, and we've got some joint accounts we're piloting that so you guys right are, now. You guys are integrating with HP pretty significantly. That deal's working well. Absolutely, very uh, well. What's the coolest thing that you've seen within HP that you can share? Also, obviously in the big data landscape, everyone's bucker, you know, hunkering down, working on their features, but outside in the real world, big data is not on the top of mind of the CIO 24-7, it's probably an item that they're addressing. What have you seen and what have you been most impressed with at HP here? Yeah, I'd say, you know, this is my first HP event like this, I think the, the strategy they have is really good. I think in certain areas like the cloud in particular with Helium, 
I think they made a lot of early investments there and placed some bets, and I think that's going to pay off well for them. And that marries pretty nicely with our strategy as well in terms of, you know, we have on-premise deployments, but we're also an OEM, if you will, within Amazon Web Services. So we have a lot of agility in the cloud, if you will, and I think as those products and the partnerships with HP Evolve, we'll, we'll be playing a lot more with them in the cloud as well. Steve, I got to ask you a question. I want you to share with the folks out there in your own words, what is it about MapR that they may or may not understand or might not know about? Um, be a little humble brag out there and share some, share some uh, insight of, into, into MapR. For folks that don't know you yet as a, as a company, and for the folks that may have a misperception of what you guys do, share, share with them what, what, what Map, MapR is all about. Yeah, I mean, for me, I was in this space with Aster Data and kind of the whole Hadoop, Hadoop and MapReduce area since 2008. And pretty familiar with everybody in the space. I really looked at MapR as the best technology, hands down. You look at the Forrester wave and they, they rank us as having the best technology today as well as product roadmap. I think the misperception is people think, oh, it's proprietary and closed. And it's actually the opposite of that. We have an unbiased open source approach where we'll ship in support in our distribution the entire Apache Spark stack. We're not selective over which projects within Apache Spark we support. Um, if you look at SQL on Hadoop, we support Impala as well as Hive and other SQL on Hadoop technologies, including you know, the ability to integrate HP Vertica directly in the system. And it's because of the openness of our platform. I'd say it's actually more open because of the standards we've integrated into the data platform to support a lot of third-party tools directly within it. So there is no lock-in. The storage formats are all the same. The code that runs on top of the distribution from the projects is exactly the same. So. You, know, you can build a project in Hive or some other system, and you could port it between any of the distributions. So there is no lock-in. And at the end of the day, what the customers want is they want ease of integration, they want reliability. That's right. And so, what are you guys working on next? What's the big uh, product marketing uh, roadmap that you can share with us? Yeah, I think for us, because of the innovations we did in the data platform, it allows us to support not only more applications, but more types of operational systems. So integrating things like fraud detection and recommendation engines directly with the analytical systems to really speed up that um, accuracy and, and, uh, and targeting and detecting risk and things like that. So I think you know, over time, you know, Hadoop has sort of been this batch analytic type of platform, but the ability to converge operations and analytics in one system is really going to be enabled by technology like MapR. How many employees do you guys have now? Uh, I'm not sure what our CFO <laughs> would let me say, but I think we're, we could say we're over 200 okay. at this point. And Hundreds. Very well. yeah, and over hundreds. 500 customers which got the data out of you guys at Hadoop yep. Summit. Well, That's congratulations. Right. We covered your relationship uh, with HP during our Big Data SV. That was exciting. Yep. Uh, good to see John Schroeder. Big, very impressive team. I'm impressed with Map. I always have been. You guys have uh, stepped kept your knitting, said what you're going to do, and again, leading the big data space. Um, again, not proprietary is a very key word, uh, and that's really cool. So, thanks for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it, Steve. We'll be right back, this is theCUBE, live in Las Vegas, extracting the city from the noise with MapR here at the HP Discover 2014. We'll be right back after this short break.